grew up in Buckhaven. I live in Morgantown with my wife, Erica, and our two sons. I have ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is 100% fatal. The average life expectancy is between two to five years. I have been living with Alice for eight years. As you can see, I can't move, speak or breathe without assistance. ALS causes the motor neuron to stop communicating with the muscle, leading to weakness and eventually causing death. I use my eyes to type, communicate with others, and I can even drive with my eyes. I know what you are thinking, yes, I am a badass, but also <laughs> I am fully spirited. I have been down to tough hand. There are days that I can barely get out of bed. I have had to develop a mental attitude in which I embrace adversity. We, as humans, are wired to seek comfort. We run from adversity. I challenge every one of you to forego your desire for comfort. Embrace adversity. Adversity is opportunity obscured by doubt and fear. I have had three life-extending surgeries. The most difficult, by far, was my tracheostomy. I was ready to throw the towel in because of how much discomfort I was going through. Only 10% of people living with Alice proceed with a tracheostomy. The expense is the main deterrent, but the thought of being tethered to a ventilator and prolonging this unimaginable life is a challenge that few accept. I knew from the moment I received my diagnosis that I was in this fight for the long haul. I knew that I would experience moments of doubt and mind-bending, teeth-grinding frustration. Everyone in this room has or will face adversity in their life. I think that this entire team faced some adversity last Friday night at Bridgeport. Trust me, fellas, I have been through the same thing. I was the starting quarterback in my junior and senior years at Buckhaven. In my junior season, we finished the season four and six. I got the hell beat out of me every game. Coach Vincent benched me at halftime the last game of the season. I was embarrassed and furious, and I vowed to get better. Flash forward to my senior season. The doubt swirled around Buchanan, and people were asking questions. Will Buchanan have another losing season? They opened the season against the perennial powerhouse, Morgantown High School. Will they even score? Cue the opening kickoff of the 2004 Buchanan Usher football season. Guess what? We opened the season and got embarrassed. Morgantown High School beat us 40 to nothing. The Record Delta published an article about the game with my picture with a quote from Coach Vincent. Coach said, they made us look slow. I felt personally responsible for the loss. I vowed to make a difference. I refused to give up. You see, just like many of you, I was not the most talented or gifted athlete. There is a saying that I took too hard after my junior year. Hard work outworks talent when talent doesn't work hard. Think about that for a second. Hard work outworks talent when talent doesn't work hard. That saying was the mantra for the rest of my senior season. After getting embarrassed by Morgantown, we went gangbusters. We ripped off nine straight wins and finished the season nine and one. We were the first team to host a home playoff game in 25 years. Unfortunately, we lost to Jefferson County in the first round of the playoffs. 
I received a scholarship to play football at Fairmont State College after the season. The moral of this story is that adversity is part of life. Do not run away when things get hard. Sure, you will get embarrassed by Morgantown or Bridgeport. But, what is to say that you aren't one win away from going on a winning streak like my senior year? Embrace adversity. Go against the grain. Be one of the 10% of people who knowingly trudge uphill against insurmountable odds to face certain death, but refuse to accept defeat. If I can fight against a terminal illness, you can suck up an embarrassing loss and kick the shit out of Ripley. <laughs> Good luck. Play hard, fast, and smack someone in the mouth for old number 10. Let's go, Bucks.